Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales in beautiful Paducah, Kentucky. It is like 50 degrees on a March evening. I'm going to call it evening. It's past afternoon. Little windy, but man, was it a nice day out. I hope you are having a great day, and I hope you are ready to look at a super, super nice, like new, low mileage coach, okay? I've got a 2024 Renegade XL, which, you know, if you watch, if you follow our channel, watch some of our videos, I shared with you recently that Renegade had dropped the Icon line. So they shut down the Icon production and uh, basically moved a few of the features from the Icon over to the XL model. So um, we can't call this an Icon, but it's got a lot of Icon features on it. Some they didn't move over. There's a few things on the Icon that they did not put on this XL, but there's a lot of them that they did. So this is a 2024 model, Renegade XL. It's the 45 QS, okay? Which is gonna be the 45 foot quad slide. So four slide outs, two on each side. And it also has the big mid bath with the double vanity sink. So it's got a his and her sink there in the middle of the coach, one big bathroom, big tiled shower. Um, this coach is really set up for a couple. It's got theater seating up in the front, as you'll see when we go inside, um, but it's really set up for like a couple to travel in. Um, we could always switch the theater seating out and put a, uh, a sofa in, but as you'll see, it's kind of set up for a couple, but very, very neatly laid out. So we'll start by showing you the chassis. This is a 600 horsepower Freightliner Cascadia chassis with the 12 speed Detroit automated transmission. So it's a 12 speed, but it's not like a 12 speed with a, a stick shift and a clutch pedal. This guy is a 12 speed fully automated transmission. You will never, ever, ever miss a gear in this thing. When you drive away from that gas pump or, or out of your buddy's driveway, he'll go, God dang, that guy's got a, he's he got the shifting down pat, but really it's doing it all for you. So 12 speed automated transmission. Uh, it's uh, 600 horsepower again, 16 liter uh, Detroit engine known as the DD16. It's got the collision mitigation. It's got the adaptive cruise. Uh, as you can see the collision mitigation box there under the driver's door. And, and what that does is um, if you got like a car or something beside you, or uh, even like a, I'm saying like a, uh, a, a pole or something that's blocking a gas pump, if you're getting too close to it, uh, right there with the front end, it's going to let you know. It also has the adaptive cruise, which is that uh, little black box there above the Renegade and Chase Motorsports. By the way, we are a Renegade dealer now. So I've sold nice, like new, pre-owned Renegades for a long time. And we are officially, it's officially official. We are officially a Renegade um, authorized dealer for new products. So you'll start seeing uh, the new units roll in uh, probably two or three months. We should start getting our first ones. But for now, we're going to keep on uh, putting out uh, great, like new, low mileage pre-owned units. And we'll still keep doing the pre-owned. The pre-owned is our the, the cream of our crop, it's our bread and butter, so we'll still keep doing the pre-owned, uh, but we'll also have some new to mix in there. So we'll keep going around, and then I'm gonna open up the hood, all the storage bays. Um, the, uh, the paint is like a metallic silver. Uh, it's got some black fade there on the lines and then gloss black up on the top. Uh, it also has the stainless appearance package down, as you can see along the lower part, polished wheels, this thing, uh, and you can see, we did a one-step Rupes polish on it, and um, it's like a mirror. This coach is literally, literally like a mirror, the finish on it. So one-step polish, you can run your hand down the side of that coach, and it feels as smooth as they get, for sure. 40,000-pound uh, hitch down here on the back, the big Gen Y. We've got um, the two and five sixteenths balls. I've got two inch, um, the two inch ball, as you can see on the bottom, you can just flip that over. We also have this where it's set up to do a panel hitch. Um, we've got um, 
two inch receiver, three inch receiver, whatever you want to accommodate your needs, we can hook you up. Uh, you've got the uh, glad hand fittings, the the uh, service line, and then your your line for your brakes there. If you got an air ride or air brake trailer, we've got you covered. This coach already has all that. Then you can see the uh, seven way plug for the marker lights, and then the uh, plug for the Voyager cameras. So if you're running a a camera on the back of your trailer, um, you can um, you can purchase the um, the uh, cord that'll connect from this coach to your trailer. And going down the road, you can look at the back of your trailer or while you're backing up, you can see it as well. So uh, very, very, very neat option there. This one has the hitch cam too. So that's an add-on. So if you're trying to hook up to a trailer, you can see um, what you're hooking up to very easily from the cab of the truck. Then you can see it also has the camera up there underneath uh, the, um, the back of the uh, the little spoiler up there under the, the light there. So we'll keep going around, two slides on each side. It does have the 360 view, so it gives you like a bird's eye view because there's a camera on the front, the back, and both sides, as you can see that one up there above the side door. Has keyless entry, again, full body paint. Um, I like how they even paint the, the sides of the slide, you know, so when you extend the slide out, it all matches. Uh, tons of storage on this one, lithium batteries. It is loaded to the hills, okay? So let me uh, get the baggage doors open. I'm gonna pop the hood, open the cab up. We'll look through that, and then we'll make our way on into the interior. Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you have just a second and uh, share our channel with your buddies. We would love to, uh, to have you tuned in to what we post and would love to sell this coach to you. So stand by, I'll be right back. Right, got him all opened up on a nice Kentucky sunset. Got the sun setting behind the coach there. 600 horsepower underneath the hood. The underneath is as clean as the outside. So the inside is as clean as the outside on this one. DD16 Detroit, 16 liter. This is the big boy, okay? This thing will run 75 uphill, downhill, around the hill, whatever you want it will do it, okay? Again, 8,000 miles. I don't know if I mentioned that. I said low miles, but 8,000 original miles on this one. It's got the 600D Aqua Hot, which is the hydronic heating system. Uh, as you can see there, zoom in 600D. So the way this works is it takes diesel fuel um, and it uh, it's kind of like a little uh, torpedo heater is what I call it. But basically, it uh, it takes diesel fuel, runs it through a burner, and heats up this antifreeze to a uh, near, uh, pretty much near a boiling temperature. And then it runs the antifreeze in a closed loop system uh, through the coach, through these lines, and uh, through these little um, kind of, I guess you would call it like a heat exchanger. It's uh, It looks like a little transmission radiator cooler is what it looks like um, down by the floor and so the hot antifreeze runs through that and then there's uh, some little 12 volt fans that blows air across the uh, the little radiator which has hot antifreeze in it and that's how it makes hot air so very very neat you can also run that on an electric side so the electric side of it if you're running the generator you can turn the electric on and it basically heats up electrodes kind of like a hot water heater at your house, but it's again, it's heating up the antifreeze and then the antifreeze is running through the closed loop system or to make hot water. What it does is it takes and circulates that antifreeze um, through the loop where your fresh water is running. They don't touch because obviously if they touched, you would get antifreeze, you know, in your water that you're brushing your teeth with or taking a shower with or whatever, but it runs them right beside each other and it takes the hot antifreeze uh, and, uh, and heats up your water. So um, the Truma outdoor cooler, uh, you can um, you can chill and uh, make this one your be or chill your beverage of choice. You can freeze meat in it. It does have adjustable temps, so it'll uh, act as a cooler or a freezer. Uh, this one's just a big storage compartment. So this would be the third door back on the passenger side. I do like how this is one big compartment. So if you didn't need the cooler uh, and you needed the extra space, had something really long that you wanted to put in there, that would be easy to do. So the cooler's on a sliding tray, but again, you can see how that is just one big compartment. 
I mentioned earlier, keyless entry, it does have the upgraded steps. Um, when the steps close, this bottom part right down here folds up. If you look at the, uh, the photos there at chasecoach.com, you'll see how it looks all closed up. The stainless uh, package that runs along the bottom will also go across the, um, the steps when it's closed. Uh, this one has uh, lots or more storage back here and also has the spare tile with it. Again, this is the three-quarter pass-through, so you can see how the compartment kind of goes underneath there. Then in the back, um, you've got your central vac system mounted overhead in the right rear compartment. You have your slide locks. Um, that is the, um, looks like maybe a spare set of glad hand fittings there and um, your central vac accessories. By the way, all of the compartments are bedlined. I call it Rhino Liner. I think that was just a franchise we had here locally for a long time, but Rhino Line, bedlined, um, that uh, adds an extra layer of insulation. Uh, also like a moisture barrier because some of the Renegades come with carpet in them. Uh, carpet's very common to be found in a lot of RV uh, belly compartments, uh, also known as storage compartments, but this one has like a, like a textured uh, bed liner and they spray that in. So again, a great moisture barrier, uh, helps keep the compartments sealed up nice and neat. It has the Renegade mud flap down there on the bottom, rubber flap uh, with, um, with a metal frame and then the, uh, the stainless pieces on the back with the Renegade RV cut in them. Just nice and neat. Renegades are so simple, user-friendly. I just love them. I just love them. Back here in the left rear compartment, we have the transfer switch. We have the uh, 50 amp retractable reel. So when you pull the cord out, all you have to do is press the little button down there and it reels it up. And this one also has the 50 amp plug up here. So if you are pulling a trailer or let's say the generator uh, dies on your buddy's coach, he could literally uh, piggyback off of you and, and plug in there. Or as I mentioned, if you've got, you know, a trailer back here behind the coach, uh, you could run your shore power cord from your trailer up through that and plug in there. And um, you could run your trailer off of the generator here on the coach. 12.5 Onan, quiet series diesel generator, fully encased. These things are so quiet. To be a 12,500 watt generator, extremely quiet. 171 hours, so very, very little use. Again, I think 8,800 miles overall on this one. This is your wet base, so it's got your black tank uh, or black tank dump handle, your gray tank handle. It's got your, um, it's got a whole house water filter, so that filters all of the water, uh, regardless if you're running it on the city side or if you're pumping water into the tank, it's going to be filtered right there. And again, so simple. So you got a valve. When you stand it up, you're on city water. When you push it down, you're on tank fill. You got a low point drain. Um, the uh, the button for the hose reel. So it's got a retractable reel. You can pull this out to um, hook up to your water hydrant and fill it up. And then all you have to do is press that, and it literally retracts this, uh, pulls it back up in there on the reel. So very simple. As you can see over here, you have the black tank flush. So you can hook your um, your water hose up to the spigot at your shop or house or campground or whatever, turn it on and flush your black tank. Very nice feature. Uh, this one also has the macerator pump. That's what that uh, like gray and white hose that's wound up there. Basically, um, the, there's a little like grinder pump that connects to the three inch connection where the sewer, and, which is your gray water and black water, it connects where they dump out. And uh, some RV parks are requiring these now. I think it's Probably a four, four or five hundred dollar upgrade on the Renegades, but this one does have it. So it does have the Flow Jet, they call it macerator. You've got a 75 gallon gray and 75 gallon black water. So that black and gray. Uh, this one is your another, I guess, somewhat of a storage bay. A lot of electrical stuff down here. So over to your right, you have the Dragonfly lithium batteries. The Game Changer 3.0, I think, and don't quote me on this, I think those are like 200, maybe 250 amp hours a piece. So lots of battery amp hour amperage, we'll call it, on those. Uh, two of the inverters. So this coach is set up to where the middle roof air conditioner will run off of an inverter while going down the road. So you can literally run the middle roof air without having the generator on 
It's just running it off of battery power. Yeah, pretty cool. So dual 3000 watt Victron energy inverters. It does have solar charging on, as you can see the solar um, charging controller, the kind of the bigger blue box there on top. And the next one up is your chassis battery. So the batteries on top there are the ones that actually start the engine of the coach. And up in here you have some a couple little fuse panels and some more electrical stuff. Looks like the, the breaker for the leveling system there. Uh, the coach holds 120 gallons of fuel. So over here under the driver's door, you have the fuel tank and the def tank. So 120 gallons here. And then the def tank's probably, a am going to say a 10, 12 gallon def tank or so. But it's single fill. So one side fills the tank. You got 120 gallons on board and it's all right here under the driver's door. Give you a little view of the cab. Love the colors. Hey, look at that. They even paint the the inside of the door jams. I think that is too freaking cool. Uh, 12 speed automated transmission, 8,808 miles on it. It's got the new Cascadia digital touchscreen, all the smart controls on the steering wheel. Let me see. Oh, the keys. I left the keys in the back, but we'll turn those on here in a minute. You do have a uh, Garmin in-dash navigation and all your controls there and then that's the the new screen that's got all the rest of your gauges and stuff on it from Freightliner. Air ride seats, uh, they do spin around so if you go to chasecoach.com and look at all the pictures, I do have a picture on there of the the seats, <coughs> excuse me, spun around where you can sit in them and kind of face the, um, the um, RV part in the back. They are both air ride and they are both heated too. So super nice seats. Villa Furniture, by the way, uh, when they came out with this new XL line, I noticed they started using Villa Furniture. Um, I'm going to say very comparable to Flex Steel. You know, Flex Steel was in the Renegades for years until uh, Flex Steel kind of pulled the reins back on the RV market. But Villa would be, um, I'm going to say, right there with them. Villa makes a very nice product. Um, I know Tiffin, Tiffin Motorhomes has used Villa for years. So um, yeah, super, super nice stuff. Dun, dun, dun. I had to do that. This one's, you're going to like what you see here. So tiled entry step, the real wide steps too. Let me back up here. And this is not no crazy zoom or anything on the camera, but those steps are every bit of probably 30, 32 inches wide. I love the width of them. Love the lighting too. Yes, go ahead and say it. This guy's like a huge fan of Renegade coaches because I am. I love them. Love them. Love them. All right. So let me zoom out and we get the full view here. So we'll start out. We'll just start over here. So we come in. This is a mid entry coach with four slide outs. So the door's in the middle. We'll start out by talking about the cabinetry. This does have a high gloss finish, uh, which has kind of like a really nice shine to it. I love the finish on this cabinetry. Hopefully the camera is picking it up good where you can see. So the first slide is going to be up front here on the passenger side. It's going to be our kitchen area. So lots of storage, lots of drawers. I'll show you this one in uh, particular. This is the silverware drawer, but it's like a stacked. So you can push that. And look, underneath it, it also has storage. And it's all soft close slide. So you can see when that one comes back, it doesn't slam watch. Kind of gets in the groove there and then it slowly closes. Um, it's got a huge sink in it too. One of the big single stainless sinks uh, with a little like drying rack, place to strain something there. Fancy, 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 I'm telling you. Very well done, Renegade. Um, tiled backsplash, kind of a um, small subway tile, I'm going to call it. Kind of a gloss gray finish. Um, Samsung convection microwave overhead, a big one at that. Looks like it's probably never been used. A two burner true induction cooktop. So um, if you have a pan and a magnet will stick to the bottom of your pan, it will work on that. So true induction, a very safe way of cooking uh, will keep uh, a little kid or or even an adult from getting their hand burned. So true induction, two burner cooktop. And then we have a small love seat. And then the TV actually um, 
raises up. So there's a window behind it, as you can see, um, a window behind it, but the TV will, will set down in that little cabinet. So going down the road, you can have the window open. And that way, you know, if you're driving, you can look over your shoulder and use that window, you know, if there's another semi beside you or something. So great safety feature there. Um, as we talked about earlier, uh, very, very nice cab driving area, air ride seats that um, are heated and just very, very comfy. Some cabinet, cabinetry overhead. The manuals were up in here, which I've got them laid over here where I took the photo, but the manuals are up here, some electronic stuff. Um, this one, just another little storage area. And then uh, some of your like TV stuff. So this coach has in motion and HD satellite. You can see the little selector switch there. Um, this is the box for the um, for the HD, which uh, it's called the Wine Guard Traveler. So that's the little control box for it. And this is cool. So this is um, I don't have like Direct TV or anything hooked up right now, and you can see how clear of a picture I've got. That is strictly off of that Wine Guard amplified antenna. So you remember, you know, rabbit ears back in the eighties, nineties, maybe even back in the seventies. Uh, that's like a glorified set of amplified rabbit ears. So it's a digital antenna. Um, when you get to when you get to where you're at, um, what, you know, a city. If you're traveling around, you can scan the local channels and literally pick up. Like I think I picked up 22 channels out here at our shop, and we're not out in the sticks, but we're not like right in town either. So very cool, and that's no subscription. It's free. So I've got it like a kids channel on. I just thought it had good color for the photos, but. Um, I had NBC News on earlier. I was watching Wheel of Fortune at one point. So some good channels and doesn't cost anything. Um, so uh, this has the theater seats. As I mentioned earlier in the video, uh, this coach is really set up for a couple. I mean, we could remove the theater seats and put in uh, one of the sofas that turns into a bed. But the theater seats are electric, so very neat. You have your little control. You just press and you'll kind of watch how it'll come all the way out and, and then the back kind of lays down. So super comfy for two people to sit here and then spin around and, and watch the TV there. The dinette is a booth style dinette. Again, all Villa brand furniture, okay? The dinette seats four people and it does not turn into a bed. Um, and there's really no way to make this one turn into a bed. So this is you know, at max, if you put a sofa up here, it sleeps four, maybe someone curled up over here at five, but uh, right now it's set up to sleep two. Um, this slide here is what I would call a super slide, so it's probably every bit of about 16 foot long, and you've got your theater seats, your booth dinette, uh, with the uh, same ca or, uh, countertop material is um, over here in the kitchen area, so I like the way that it all match or matches, and... Um, all the manuals, touch-up paint, uh, the factory uh, lubricant for the slide-outs, spare water filter for the uh, whole house water filter I was showing you, uh, the manual for the Freightliner part, both sets of original keys are with the coach, and then your remotes, and then the Renegade manual. So all that is included. Now, let's talk about this fridge. This is one of those fridges that has the TV in it. I know that's probably a little overkill, but... Again, it looks cool when your buddies walk in and check it out for sure. All the plastic is still on everything. I mean, this, this coach was only used a couple of times, and uh, it is as new as they come without just saying it's brand new. Uh, this um, The fridge, though, is black stainless, which I'm a huge fan of. I think it looks really cool. Um, goes really good with the colors of the coach, but black stainless, you have um, a little drawer here, and then you can pull this one out, the ice maker and everything's in the bottom. You see the little scoop there for the ice. A big, big fan of the black stainless. I, I love it. So um, Samsung fridge, I like how they're doing the, um, the little safeties, you know, because when a refrigerator is in an RV, you can think about it um, going down the road, I mean, there's potential for the doors to fly open, right? So they came up with these cool little safety deals here while you're driving down the road. Um, I think that's all there. This does have a shade on it. I had it down, but we'll raise it up. You can see there, 
for the entry door. Now, the bathroom. The bathroom is in the middle. So this is one big slide. This slide starts here and goes all the way down there. And then there's a sliding, you know, pocket door here to, like, block off privacy. So we'll go ahead and close that one. Then I want to back up here and show you one more thing. There's another pocket door here. So, you know, you could block off for complete privacy if you were getting ready, um, you know, ladies doing your hair, makeup, or whatever. You could have full privacy right here um, in the mid-bath. So, two sinks, which I think is really neat. You don't see many renegades like that. Um, and I heard, this is a rumor. I have not confirmed it. But I heard that they weren't going to build this floor plan going forward, that 24 was the last year. So, um, I can verify that for sure, but if you like this floor plan, this would be a great coach to uh, to scoop up because I heard they're not going to build it anymore. And uh, again, the bathroom's in the middle, so turn around here. You can see our sinks and got a medicine, or excuse me, a big mirror overhead there in front. And then behind me is the toilet and the shower, full tile shower. This is a big shower, probably, um, I'm going to say, 36 by 40 or so, has the little water tower there that'll spray you or little, um, like a rain head overhead, like that. And it has the teak seat, which I like. That's, again, an option that doesn't come in all of them. I like this, very neat, and how the drain's set in there. And then you can see they um, took the same backsplash tile that's in the kitchen and put here in the bathroom. So, Sani Marin, one of the electric flush macerator toilets. Speaking of, something I forgot, this coach does have heated floors. So, dual zone heated floors, porcelain tile floors all the way through. It's got a rear zone for heat and a front, so heated floors. All right, back in the master bedroom. So, lots of cabinetry in this floor plan. You can take these shelves out if you want. Uh, you can see the clothing rod up, up above there. Lots of cabinets. Uh, there's drawers down here. And then you go back in the corner and you have your uh, washer and dryer. So washing machine on the bottom and then the dryer up above. And then you have a big um, closet in the back that is cedar lined with uh, the carpet. Clothing rod, again, tons and tons and tons of storage. And trust me, you know as well as I do, the people who design this stuff, if there's a place to put a drawer or a cabinet, they're going to put one. So, um, very neat, organized layout in this one for sure. King-size bed in the master. So, I'm going to kind of stand back where you can look at the whole thing here. King-size bed, uh, very comfy. I had to lay down on it and try it out. It's approved. It's DT approved, which is... Dylan Thompson approved, if that means anything to you at all. The bed is is comfy and DT approved. So I think that's it. So two slides back here. We had the bed slide. We turn around and we had like the little wardrobe and entertainment. Big TVs too. So 43, 42, 43 inch Samsungs with uh, Bose sound bars. That's one of the things they pulled from the icon. I know that's a small thing, but they were using Samsung uh, brand sound bars, and now it's all Bose. So definitely better quality, better sound. But um, I think that's all. You do have a big touch screen here, um, which is as you enter the coach, you've got where you can control the lights, your aqua hot, water pump, tank heat. Uh, there's, you know, you can scroll down lights. This one's um, your electricity side, thermostats. There's where you do like your floor and, and bay. It does have bay heat, so you can heat the storage bays, um, lift the TV up and down, slide outs, leveling system awnings. Um, you can also download the mobile app on your phone and literally get a screen that looks pretty close to that on your cell phone. So day and night shades throughout. In fact, I'll run those up just to kind of show. I don't normally do this, but the remote is handy. So you just press up on this remote, and you can do them one at a time, or I was on the channel called all and you can see it moved the one behind the tv it moved uh this one over here in the kitchen area and then it moved the three here in the main slide out so um i think that's all it's a 2024 model just to recap 8808 miles it is a renegade xl and it's the uh, quad slide 45 foot so i think they call it let's go over here and look they call it the xl 
X45QS for quad slide with the mid bath, 600 horsepower Freightliner chassis with the 12 speed Detroit transmission. And it is as new as they come without just saying it's brand new. It smells new even. Um, if you have any questions, please give me a call. We'll put my number there on the screen. You can also email me at uh, Dylan, it's D-Y-L-A-N at chasecoach.com. And um, we accept trade-ins. We offer financing. Uh, we can help you. We don't do it in-house like we're not the ones that does the loan, but we can reroute you to the right people that can get you some great financing options. And um, we accept trade-ins and we deliver nationwide. We're literally... One of our drivers it seems like every day of the week is on the road picking up a coach or delivering one or whatever. So would love to earn your business. And uh, if there's anything that we can help you with question-wise, please give me a ring and we will go from there. Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales in beautiful Paducah, Kentucky. Look forward to meeting you soon. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. So I forgot to show you one of the most important parts of this 2024 Renegade, the party lights. So this coach has actually got lights under the slide. See it? That's up under the edge of the slide. And then it's got underglows on top of that. Now I've got it on blue right now, which I think my, my camera, which is my phone, is making it look purple. But that is, it's actually blue in person. Oh my gosh. extremely cool so it's got uh, lights under each one of the slides and then underglows underneath so it literally gives this thing like complete lighting on the kind of the lower part like the baggage doors it's reflecting off that stainless yeah super cool so you can change that it's rgb lighting too so uh, on that big screen in there inside when you walk up the entry steps um, you can actually select blue, red. Let's just do it. Let's see if it works. Let me open the door. All right, so I'm going to go up to this screen. Okay, and we're going to do red over here. Okay, let's see if it changed it. Ah, oh, yeah. Sure did. Look at there. How cool is that? I had to show you that. So as I do the photos, I try to take the photos in the evening when the sun's setting. It just makes for an awesome picture. But usually when I'm done, it's dark outside. So I thought, oh, let's turn the underglows on and see what they look like.